No, oh, really. true. It absolutely yeah, I think it it's look at Kardashian like, too. Because yeah, I didn't want to get lip standards. fillers until like like three years ago when it became popular to have big lips. And as someone like yeah, and I was bullied I, yeah, for my big lips like growing up until it became like people were getting lip injections. Really? Well, yeah, I feel like that's why I call your, myself yo, a that, man. I'm not going to Hold on. base what I think of myself on what anybody else thinks of me. I look in the mirror every day and I like what I see. Yeah, but that's so delusional. But, but it's, like, but it's true. To, I like what I see in the mirror. So like, in just my because, mind, okay, then I, I see okay, in my mind, in my mind, I'm not saying that you have to see in my mind, in my mind, in my mind, I'm a millionaire. In my mind, I'm a millionaire and a PhD in my mind. And I feel like that, so therefore I am. That's what I just, just because you, you like, the country, just because you like are, what you see in the mirror, also that yeah, doesn't mean that you're a ten. A ten is saying you are absolutely perfect. So you're saying you don't have any acne. Your hair is perfect every single day. Like you're in the best shape of your life. You're saying you have absolutely nothing that you think you can improve on yourself. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that I would consider myself a ten. I don't know what other people would call me. I think maybe you're thinking you of know? different categories because objectively, the golden ratio is a measure a measure of facial <laughs> facial symmetry, and it is objective. You can look at someone's face and see how closely they match. And so I think when a lot of people say it, what they're talking about is this is how I measure up to this ideal standard of beauty. Though I do think yeah. you're right. Over time, or whoever said that, over time society does value different aspects of women's beauty as mm -hmm. time changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. yeah. It's just, I know for a fact that not the, everybody's going to find me beautiful. Remember all the media. Some people will. Yeah. Some women, people women won't. make so at the end 70. Day, I'm going to go with what I like. And but I women like make, remember, like. women make 70 to 80% of consumer buying decisions. So all the media is marketed towards women. It's not for men. What mm -hmm. men, what men likes really has not changed. Natural, mm -hmm. more natural I don't, See, but I said earlier, like it really does depend on the country and it does depend on where you're living because it's a lot different in America than it is in Israel. Right. I lived in Israel mm -hmm. for over four years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the beauty Culture standards so there are completely different, oh, yeah. different than yeah, here. Asian countries as well. When I, mean, I got back yeah. here, seen, yeah. when I got back here, mm -hmm. I went and I wanted a nose job right away. Mm -hmm. As soon as I got back, mm -hmm. I went and got Botox. I went and got lip filler. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel beautiful here by beauty standards mm -hmm. at all. But when I lived in Israel, I was very confident mm -hmm. and I felt great because there. They don't care about those beauty standards. Right. They right. don't I care about them. It, <laughs> no, but, they, but they've, they've, done, they've, no, they've done studies on this, like with men all over the world. I mean, I, and, I lived there first. I mean, I've so lived, I okay, I've it. lived in Germany. I've lived all over the so, world, too, so we could go back and forth okay. in the I lived game. But in, in general, men tend to find the same things attractive. I don't believe that's true at all. But Okay, well. But true. what do you think men find attractive? Um, and, I mean, fit, feminine, friendly in general. Um, symmetrical face. I mean, I, I think you kind of know it when you see it, if we're being honest. So, supposedly, like, um, you know, biologically, like, where the big men boobs, are attracted butt, to, like, waist, a, a like, woman that on. looks like she's capable of bearing a child. Mm -hmm. So, like, yeah. some meat on the To me, that's body. the only way that we can say yeah, what we know men like. Because it's all different between what men like. Yeah. It's not, it's not, yeah. it's not that one and, thing, like, oh, if you and, have a small nose, every man I mean, is going to like you. Men, yeah. in, men mm -hmm. in general aren't that picky. And also, some men like supermodels, some men like... The BBL big booty Latinas, like everyone has a different type, so you right. can't just yeah. put men into right. like a mm -hmm. certain category. I mean, men really aren't that picky. They swipe right on dating apps like 50% of the time. Like, yeah, men, men just really they're aren't. They're not that picky on who they fuck, but mm -hmm. they're picky on who, who they, they want to call their girlfriend. Yeah, and who they want to show yeah. off. Yeah. Yeah. And mean, another uh, thing is, is you can be you can be mm -hmm. the complete you can be the complete and total package and get delivered to the wrong house. I'm right. just saying you can <laughs> be <laughs> some, you can be what somebody I mean, is dying but, but and praying women, for and not are get the choosers, So then you pick the wrong house. No, I'm <laughs> saying no, I mean, I'm you, saying I'm saying you can walk into a room and be a ten to somebody in that room, but go up to the wrong guy. I mean, and not really. Not really. Really. Okay, I'll give. Oh, let's 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 do people, let's do a different though. example. Is is Lizzo person. gonna be a ten anywhere? No. Lizzo, if she goes to Japan, that's exactly she what I'm. That's exactly she, what I'm saying. No, no, but she's not gonna be a ten anywhere. I mean, we could argue that maybe, like, I mean, you know. I'm confused on what the hell we're arguing, like, actually. Well, yeah, she so. would be a 10 somewhere. Yeah. Like yeah, I said, plenty. in the hood, yeah, exactly. she would be a she's 20. Like, she, yeah. She's, like, just like every woman, they have, they could be the exact perfect package for the perfect person. Right. But that's exactly what I'm there trying to say. Nobody Lizzo, that Lizzo, Lizzo if you want to use her as have an example, she's a beautiful every woman. person on earth? Pull, right, right. She, I think what she's getting at is that. every single person on earth? I mean, I have common sense. I think that that's where you get in 
I think that's where you get it wrong sometimes. I, I don't understand why everyone's doing that. We have to, we have to generalize in order to have conversations. Sometimes. We, no, we always. have to. Otherwise, if we're going to have a conversation about every single exception, but we're going to be here all day. But why is it? I have a question. I have a question. If I said you guys look like Lizzo, would you take it as a compliment? I think, Lizzo has a beautiful face. I think she's confident as hell. Lizzo has a beautiful yeah. face. She's okay. confident her, her, face is beautiful. her body and her face and her confidence and the way that she carries herself. Hell yeah. Okay, I think so she's you have, beautiful. You have, you have I, I, like find, I can You're find cool. beauty in every single woman, oh, though. God. Like, that's just I think me. What, I don't think that's... Oh, holy crap. I think what Pearl was trying to get at is that it's okay to be normal. It's okay not to be a 10 out of 10 in society's standards. Yeah, Everybody no, is told nowadays that they're special and that you're a 10, you're a 10. No, let's be for real. We have to be yeah. honest with ourselves. We go out into the world. I'm going to go out somewhere. Somebody doesn't like black girls. Guess what I'm going to have to do? Accept that people don't like black girls. I'm going go to go out there and change the world's opinion. No. But that doesn't make, that doesn't change how you feel about yourself. Yeah, yeah but, but I mean, if, uh, but I feel about myself yeah. because yeah. I'm going off of society but standards question, and what I look like, I feel that rate, way. So. But she's saying yeah, she feels The question was to rate our looks, not yeah. ourselves. Right. There's a big difference. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you're not rating your yourself. A, but a even six yeah. okay, and a but half come person. on. Even if we're gonna go off personality, what we all have perfect That's ten. Per too. No, no. I'm saying like there's no areas for improvement in your personality. No, no, no. That's not what we're saying at all. Yeah. No, I mean it is when you're saying you're a ten. If you're including per, because you, you said it, you have to be honest with yourself where you stand in society. No, but I said, I said, I said, if we were going, even if we were going personality, that's what I said. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's. I think that we're having a little bit of confusion about objectively. There is an objective beauty standard. You can look at a woman, and there are different across races, across ethnicities, across all different types of things. There are women who are objectively beautiful. When they walk in a room, you know that's a ten. You know it. You know it when you see it. But there is relative beauty, like 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 you were saying it depends on where you are and yeah. you may have somebody who for that for that culture for that area that's a 10 and it looks different than the objective 10 that all most people if you have a room full of a thousand people from all over the world they know when somebody walks in that's a 10 objectively because mm -hmm. yeah. you can see it's the facial symmetry it's just the math and our brains 100%. comprehend it as beauty 100 percent. and if yeah. you bring somebody with blue eyes somewhere where it, there's print up predominantly not blue eyes they're immediately going to get like a double look or mm -hmm. be held mm -hmm. to like oh wow that's beautiful because it's not seen as often mm -hmm. or whatever the case may be i'm not just i'm just saying blue eyes because i that's what i have so i'm not going to mm -hmm. critique somebody else's look but yeah what yeah. i don't understand is who is the shot caller that said oh this is the perfect structured face this is what beauty is like who's who 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 up the golden ratio. It's just math. It is. And you know, another thing is ridiculous to me is that okay, this is what a 30 year old should look like. This is what you should look like when you're 20. This is what who you, put I have, like I have a ABC question. chart I have a question. that said how, like, how tall are you? How tall five are you? seven. Okay, would you date a guy that's five foot? I have. Really? Oh, plenty of times. Five foot. Oh, plenty. Seven inches. Plenty. I fucked a little four or seven. <laughs> the show, honey. Let me tell you. I look. You are, and he was probably good. putting in double time. <laughs> yeah, he was. Yeah. Double pump. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it, look, where I come from, look, you, you just blessed. And at my age, you just blessed to get somebody that, you feel me, wants to show you some love, honey, <laughs> and, and show you a good time, honey. So you got to go along with it, baby. If it's, if it's your, you feel me, your type, then it's your type. Height shouldn't matter. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't, I think that's shallow, to be honest, to, to put somebody down just based off their height. Women, I, women do, though, if you look at the filters on dating apps, though. Right. Like, most, I, like I, the I, most I, common I, filter I, is six foot and up, and most women have that filter on if they can. I have but a question. I feel like, like most men like shorter women as well. They do. Yeah, that's five, my problem. Five, yeah. two is like this. They want the little tiny, itty bitty. Yeah. I attract so, mad short guys. And I, I know. I used to give them a chat. I used to give, I used to date only. I feel like short kings are the tallest women. There's no problem. Most confident. Yeah, they are. Oh, I was like, yeah. you get a shot. Mm -hmm. So oh, for yeah. those of you who are working in the adult industry, I'm curious what you think your life will look like about 10 to 15 years in the future. Like, what do you picture? Where do you picture your careers going? Currently? I mean, I've definitely been thinking about that a lot since I got pregnant and yeah. also mm -hmm. before as well. Um, that's also why I kind of stepped out of the corn industry itself because I was realizing that you know, at least with OnlyFans, yes, they can screenshot, yes, they can screen record everything, and it can be put out on Reddit or whatever, but that I'm on the hub, anyone can look me up, and now it kind of sucks, like, looking back on it. I don't regret my decisions because they got me to where I am today and the person that I am today, and I will always be thankful for that, um, but I do wish I 
went ahead and did my research before and did things a lot differently than I did. Um, but I, I wonder, uh, did you know before you started, so this is something, so I'm a career coach and I help people find jobs without buying college degrees. So I help people get into tech and different industries, blue collar, doesn't really matter, whatever people want to do, I'll help them figure out how to do it. And so I'm curious about if, if it's common knowledge that if you do that kind of work later on down the line, it may show up and an employer may choose not to hire you and they're legally allowed to do so. And how, how have you like planned for that on down the line? I went, I went ahead, Kiana still is my real name, but I changed the spelling of it. I use a fake last name. Legally, you changed it? No. Oh, okay, okay. So if I walk into a job, they, you can't correlate Kiana Kumani with my real name. Um, what if they start like making technology to like find your face? Well, they already there have. They already yeah. have I mean, if they already have years. them, they already have. But honestly, after the work that I've done, I don't see myself going back to a nine to five. Um, I do want to go to college and I do want to get my nursing degree because I do want to go and be a traveling nurse and help out in different countries. And I don't think it really matters when you're going to be a nurse if you've done corn. I don't yeah, see that as an issue. Because I'm, I want to help. Well, people. a lot of employer, a lot of employers do, and it will and, impact your prospects. As and if hiring. that, if that is the case, then that is the case. But right now, I'm trying to stack my money as much as possible, and again, invest in Airbnb properties. That's wise and, of you. Yeah, yeah, and do as much as possible. I don't want to waste my money on stupid stuff. Yeah, I, I think it's dumb that a lot of women in the industry get into the industry, and they are so they have never had that much money before, so they go and buy designer purses, mm -hmm. designer yeah. shoes, they waste get a all car, they waste, yeah, they waste all their <laughs> yeah. money, they spend it. And they don't learn how to do their tax forms. They don't learn how, they don't learn yeah. how to write off things that they're paying for on a daily basis to keep up with their own, their own, like, look. Like, when you're, when you're an OF model, I can write off these nails every time I get them done. I can Everything write off is a write off. Everything right. is a write off. Do you all do your own taxes or do you have CPAs? I do my own. I've, 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 because I did my business degree, I actually like took courses and shit like that, and I actually really, really enjoy doing that. I want to help more people do that when it comes to OF. Um, but no, I definitely have a plan for after I'm done with the industry that I'm in right now. Did you um, did you start in OnlyFans because you couldn't get a job with your degree? Uh, no, not at all. I have a question for you. Was you advised against younger women joining the OnlyFans industry or the I was. Um, industry? In I think I would do it. research before. What do you mean do? Research? I would advise against it. I would just definitely do as much research as possible because when I turned 18 and I moved back to America, mm -hmm. I went and I got I was working at Chipotle before. That was my job before I got into the sex work industry. I was working at Chipotle. I was Cracker go, Barrel and Bob Evans. Yeah. I was <laughs> I was working at Chipotle. I was going to go back to school, do everything, and then I went and started working at a strip club. Mm -hmm. And that's how I got into the sex worker industry. And I was terrified. I had no guidance. Um, and I had to pretty much learn how to maneuver my way on my own. Um, I don't wish my life to be any differently than it is today, but I would advise younger women to definitely do their research before they decide to show their body and be as, you know, willing with their body and do to do what like they do. And do you think a positive environment for these, yeah. like, Oh, is it? Are we even live in the first place? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we're live. We're live. Yeah. Okay. But as I was saying, like, because you mentioned earlier about this industry kind of being toxic. Do you even think that this is a, an environment <laughs> young women should be going in in the first place? Mike Davis denied two hundred. Again, Emma one second. Pearly, you're dead wrong about men's type. My type is the BBBWs, big beautiful black women. More cushion for the pushing. If she got flesh, we gone mesh. If she got bone, I'm going home. <laughs> he's talking to, he's to talking to you, talking baby. To you. you better respond to this man. You said you wanted to get what you can get. Well, I'm so shocked to hear somebody say they want a black bitch. She got flesh. You know, damn. Okay. I'm not shocked. Shy. She 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 I don't know what to say. I get shy. I get a little shy. <laughs> Slide in the DM. What's, what's your Instagram? Right. Give your Instagram. At the first Barbie. That's T H E number one S T B A R B I E baby. <laughs> Lead the baby off. That was just me. <laughs> you said you were single. Oh yes, honey. Oh, you gotta talk. Are you here. looking Make for sure a talk. man oh, sorry. or a woman? Yes, I am single as a motherfucking Pringle. Been single for yeah a minute. 
I would say since 2020. Let me stop lying. Do you okay, want to be single? You know, to be honest right now, I'm kind of on this self journey trying to get my shit together. You good, understand what good. I'm saying? Because people so judgmental of you when you're in your 30s. You know what I mean? You should have your shit, a house on the hill and, you know, Calabasas by now and, you know, driving a sports car. And all this, or be married with kids. And it's like, that life ain't for every woman. You know what I do you, mean? Do you, like, not, do you not want children? I want a husband, to be honest, more than I want children. More than kids. I want uh, that partnership, that companionship, mm-hmm. more than kids. Do you if wanna, the kids do you wanna, happen, then okay. Do you want to be in a partnership, or would you rather it be more like a husband and wife? I, I want the husband title, the wife and husband No, title. not the title. I meant, like, the role. What do you mean? Do I want to be the like, wife? So when I, when I hear partnership, I think more like 50-50, we have an equal say. And when I, when I hear like oh, husband and wife, like that means you still want to Like you still want to work like, and everything. Oh, well, see, because I'm, I'm a Virgo. I like to call shots. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm a yeah. little so masculine, you, more, you know what I'm yeah. saying, in that department. So that's why I probably say partnership. I didn't even, you know, that wasn't even conscious. That just I came like out. In the U.S., though, that it, the, the way that marriage is structured is a business partnership. I think the, the way that the marriage is on the inside is very different from the mm-hmm. legal structure of that. Mm-hmm. 